Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. I am back for Aquarius's Timeless Love Reading. Aquarius, I hope all is well in your world. Got cards fly in here. We've got the Five of Cups reversed, the King of Pentacles reversed. We've got the King of Wands. Sorry, somebody's still got their little bit of fireworks left and they're trying to use it. So if you're wondering what that noise was. You've got the Queen of Wands, the Empress, the Ten of Cups, all reversed. The Nine of Wands. The Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Okay, Aquarius, what is going on here? So I do read the energy as well as the cards. And thank you to those who have um, reached out and sent me cards um, of thanks and appreciation. And I have received some lately that I thoroughly enjoy, so I want to thank you very, very much. It helps to keep my channel expansive and ever growing as far as energy possibilities and storylines. Because not only does the tarot cards have general meanings, but with each creation of the cards, it conjures up different information. Definitely feeling a little apathetic in love, like all has been lost. It's like you want this person to come forward, but they're not. You know, and with this King of Wands here, it's like you're you're trying to keep an eye out on them. You're trying to remain somewhat positive about this situation. With the Queen of Wands here reversed. Interesting. They want you to come forth. You want them to come forth. And there's this Empress energy and the Ten of Cups. So it's a lot of blocked energy here. It's like you want them to come forward. They want you to come forward. You know, they want this Ten of Cups, but it's in the reverse. They're not on it. Both of you were like, I'm not doing it. Well, I'm not doing it. Stubborn, stubborn. And because of that, you, you both feel like you're, you're stuck in this quagmire of like sludge and molasses that you can't get out of. You can't move. It's like everything's come to a screeching halt. You know, and with the seven of swords here, somebody feels like actually both of you, you're mirroring each other hardcore. You know, that no one will come forward and that no one will admit that they did anything wrong. Both of you think the other got away with something or tried to get away with something. Both of you have dug your heels in and you're like, no, I'm not doing this. You need to do this. But there's no communication, so no one knows. But I think that's how the fight, you know, that's how the relationships, when it stopped, when you guys stopped communicating, that's where it was and that's where it remains. You know, and both of you think that the other has walked away permanently in search of something different, in search of something better. Some more information here. Yeah, you're just, you're spitting mad. <laughs> you feel like death has come to this relationship, but you're still keeping an eye out. You want justice, but you don't think you're going to get it.
you know, and since they've gone silent, they've been trying to go within, but they haven't been very successful because they're too angry. They're too like, you need to come forward. They need to do like, you need to do your work. You need to do your healing. It's not me. It's you. And with this queen of swords, you know, it's in the reverse, but they're very sad about this. You know, because they want to come forth, you know, in this abundant, you know, energy of love and, you know, especially with this Ten of Cups here. So interesting. There's the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords right next to each other, both reversed, clarifying this Empress and this Ten of Cups. They see you as their counterpart. They don't know how to turn this around. You know, with this, like I seeing the quagmire and like being in molasses and not being able to move or, you know, move forward, move back, like make anything, you know, to clarify that is the two of swords. So it's like both of you are guarding your heart. This huge stalemate is going nowhere fast. The ace of swords reversed. Yeah, both of you are just, like I said, digging your heels in the sand and going, no, no, I'm not doing it. You need to do this. And it's like every time you, both of you think about moving forward and making some kind of a gesture, you stop yourself. Let's see, let's get some more information here. And this might be for some of you, it said wedding ring. So you might have been about to get married, you know, soul connection and something happened. Wow. Engagement ring came out. So you guys were definitely about to tie the knot or take this to a real serious place, like moving in together. Both of you, or one of you, I think both of you feel stabbed in the back. You know, both of you are so stubborn, you're like, okay, I'll let this die then. But with endings brings new beginnings. Maybe this needed to come out so you guys could move into a different place. This is empathic and narcissistic paradigm. Being charmed and used. Girl with a snake. Yeah, both of you feel betrayed here. Breakup, separation. Let's see, what is this about? Yeah, somebody discovered somebody discovered something that was out of your convention out of both of your convention you know and this is where you were watching each other and you're like seriously you're gonna take that action hell no you know and both of you are not having any empathy for each other you know and it caused this great indecision and torture for the both of you. What else is this about? Let me grab some other cards here. Give me more information on what this was about. Someone might have found out that there was a third party involved or a child that someone didn't disclose. That is for some of you, not all of you. I feel like it's a small amount. You know, and then whatever the situation is, this indecision for the majority of you that you discovered, it's about faithfulness.
Here's the second confirmation about a child. Either someone didn't disclose that they had a child with another person, or someone's pregnant. It's interesting, there seems to be several storylines here, where it's the one with the child, and then there's one where it's not that big of a deal, but both of you are being stubborn about it. And it's about this faithfulness card, where it could be, you know, someone's questioning someone's faithfulness, maybe somebody caught somebody else just playfully flirting, or it's something to do with faith, religion. Several storylines going on here. And uh, leave a comment about it because I'd like to hear, you know, which one you fell under. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. So you're going to have to decide if you're going to be the one to break the ice. Because this is waiting. This is, what, the third time we've, we've come up with this? Because we've got the wedding rings, the engagement card, and the wedding. I mean, it's not often that you get readings that are ringing up, you know, wedding rings, weddings and weddings, you know, three different cards. Pay attention to the red flags. For some of you that, um, the person with this child that wasn't disclosed or someone got someone pregnant or is pregnant, you know, and just didn't disclose another family. You know, pay attention to those red flags because for some of you that, you know, this one resonates, obviously there's some serious red flags. It says, I've been watching you from a distance. And it kind of goes into the same thing that we were discussing earlier where it's like, you guys are both paying attention to each other. You're watching, but you're not doing anything. You know, and with this person, I think that message is for, you know, whatever your scenario is. I have no words for your kindness and generosity. What else does this person want to say? How can I ever pay you back? So they know that you've been generous. They know that you have been kind and given it your all. You turn heaven loose within me. One more. I am electrified by you. This reading is a little bit, you know, kind of all over the place a little bit. But I mean, obviously this person has feelings for you. But for those of you who, you know, with this secret child wife situation, you know, obviously, like it showed before, that's a serious red flag. And you need to take whatever action or no action, depending on the situation, you know, with someone not saying, nobody saying anything or nobody coming forward. With the one where there is, um, you know, wedding plans and it was some kind of a faith situation. Maybe you were about to get married and you realized they don't have the same faith or they don't want to raise children in the same way that you do or the same religion. You know, manifest what you want. You know, talk about this. Contemplate it. I hope that that was helpful. Thank you for joining me today, Aquarius. As always, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.